Hi guys! So today I want to talk about files in IBM Connections and how best to share your files in it. Because there's lots of different ways of doing it and not everything is always clear to everyone. So, am I going to explain everything there is to know about files in IBM Connections? No, because that would take me a couple of hours and we don't have the time to do that in this video. But what I do want to explain to you is two basic concepts that you need to understand to make the best choice for your files yourself. Now, the first concept I want to talk about is the difference between files and attachments in IBM Connections. Now, what do I mean with that? Well, you can upload files either as personal or community files into uh, Connections, and that will make it independent objects, meaning that you can act on that file as a standalone object. Things like being able to comment on it, to like the file, um, but also simple things like versioning making sure that, that any updates, etc., is automatically locked and being able to edit them in your desktop connectors, which is quite handy, of course. Now, the alternative, however, is that you can also upload documents into, for instance, a forum or a wiki page or an activity as an attachment. Now, does that mean that the file is not there? No, it, it's absolutely there, but the file is then not an individual object, but part of the object you attached it to. So things like commenting on the file alone isn't possible. Um, you can't like that individual file. You can't really comment on it at, and you can't really um, edit it either because you can't edit it in the desktop connectors. So you lose a lot of features when you do it that way. Now, there is nothing wrong with that in some cases, because sometimes you really want that file to be a static object that is only relevant to that particular wiki page or, or, or a forum post, for instance. But most times you want to be able to, for instance, upload a new version or edit it and make sure that your comment about it was still relevant. So usually what we advise people is to use the other options that you have in these forum posts, wikis, and activity, which is to not upload the files in attachment, but to link to the file from, for instance, your personal or community files. So the second thing I want to talk about here is the difference between community files and personal files, because let's face it, there isn't that much of a difference between the two. They both offer things like liking and commenting. Um, you, they both allow you to edit the files through your desktop connectors and your Microsoft Office plugins. But at the same time, they are different because you cannot share a community file outside of that community. That's the biggest difference. Um, a personal file I can share, for instance, with multiple communities or multiple communities and people if I want to, or even not share it at all. Although the whole reason of connections is to share information, so having files that you don't share is not really handy. But what would be the use case then for having a file in a community if, if you just lose that ability to share it? Well, there are situations where you want to actually do that deliberately. For instance, if you have sensitive information that you don't want to get outside of that community, then by sharing it directly in the community and not as a personal file and then share it with the community will prevent you from accidentally sharing it with other communities or people or other people sharing that file outside of your community. The other thing that is quite important about the sharing files directly in the community is also that by doing so, you're more or less giving the community the ownership over the file because it's no longer your prerogative to decide um, who has access to it. It's literally the community managers who decide by adding or removing members to that community which theoretically could mean that you lose access to your own file that you originally uploaded. Now, is that a bad thing? Well, not necessarily. If, if I'm in a project and I'm working with a couple of co-workers on a project plan, then I might be the one that first started the project plan, but we're working on it with three or four people. If I leave the project at a certain point, then I don't have to work on the project plan anymore, but they do. So by having the file part of the community, they can still do that. And even though I might not even be a member of that community anymore and therefore not access, have access to the file, um, they can still work on. 
if it had been a personal file that I shared with them, then because I'm the only one, the only owner of the file, I'm the only one that can add new editors to it. So they will constantly come back to me and ask me, can you change this? Can you update this, etc. So again, it's all about the context of um, who needs to see the file and is it relevant for me to share it with multiple communities or not? Or is the ownership really with the community itself? So I hope this helps you a little bit in understanding the difference between attachments and files and the difference between personal files and community files. Good luck.